Agatavach, welcome back to Thinking of Mashiach, Part 7. Thank you to Torah Anytime and to everyone who's watching on whatever venue uh, you're in learning, because they're all beautiful vehicles to be able to learn Torah. We began last week Perak Aleph of the Chavetz Chaim Sipisal Yeshua, and there seems to be a contradiction because Chazal and the Gemara in Sota, at the end of Sota, tells us of the many horrific signs of the chaos of the world that will exist before Mashiach comes. Yet, the final psukim um, in the Torah that speak about Mashiach state completely the opposite. It seems that the psukim in the Torah state that Mashiach is going to come when we return to Hashem. That it'll come a time when the, the of blessings and of curses and everybody will return, or not everybody, Vishavta, and you will return to Hashem and listen to his voice. Az Yashiv Hashem then Hashem will return. His presence, the Shechina, the Beis Hamikdash, who Dvarav Tocha. May Hashem, this is a great gift and a promise. Shekein Yebavadai, Kamoshikas of Ramban, as the Ramban says at the end of Dvarim. So how could it be? On one hand, the world is filled with chaos. And that's going to bring, those are signs of Mashiach. On the other hand, the Torah states in the end of Dvarim that the Mashiach is going to come when Jews recommit and connect greater than before, and they return. How could they both be true? Says the Chavetz Chaim, Yesh Kama Inyan. There are many answers, but the bottom line is, is that they are both true. They are two ingredients in the formula that will bring Mashiach. You see, it seems that years ago, many, 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 many years ago, when we were closer to Har Sinai, when parents were able to share the Mesorah that they heard from their parents and the vast majority of Klal Yisrael in millennia ago were connected and committed, so then the Gullus, the long exile, the longer we waited, the more schar we got, the more of a reward. However, in our generation, Nimsa Shishne Suge Anashim, we see we're bifurcated. There's two types of Yidden in the world. There are those that are coming closer, and there are those that are moving farther away. And those that are moving farther away don't even know where they are that they're moving. They don't even know what they're missing. They don't know Shavuos, they don't know Tisha B'Av, they don't know, they, they don't know. So what's HaKadosh Baruch Hu going to do for them? So the answer is, is that he's going to remember his children. He's not going to forget them. And we have to know that at the end of days, Hayotzim Yidvareinu, Shebizmaneinu Yesh Yotzer Litzapos Lekavos, that we have to look for Mashiach more now than we ever have before, he said a hundred years ago. Because if we don't, so much of the Jewish people is just going to break off. They're falling off the cliff. As many as are coming in, that's how many are falling off, if not more. And this is all marumas in psukim. It's all hinted to in the psukim. And the question that a person has to ask is, in which camp do we want to be? Do we want to strive and try to be in the righteous camp? to do the best that we can, to do the mitzvot as best we can, to study the Torah the best that we can, to be balei chesed and balei tztaka, balei amuna, or rachman al-etzlan, do we want to be the side that is falling through the cracks in front of our eyes? 
You know, in the early 1900s, in the mid-1900s rather, there were slaughterhouses in the United States all over, almost everywhere. In Camden, here in southern New Jersey, there were slaughterhouses. Nowadays, you can count the slaughter production houses of kosher on two hands. And the big ones, maybe less than two hands. You want to know why? Because only the Orthodox part of the Jewish world is keeping kosher as a rule. And therefore, we don't need as much kosher as we used to. That's why it's more it's expensive also. And so the Chavetz Chaim says at the end of chapter 1, Tzarech kol ish lihitchazek. Everyone should strengthen themselves. Ka'es b'yedias ha-Torah. With your knowledge of Torah, u'bekiyo mitzvos of in your fulfillment of mitzvahs. Cha'achar she'yavu ha-Mashiach. Because when Mashiach comes, and may he come soon, this week. Shuv nikroim osama. Hashanim shanim asher ein bahem chayfetz. Kamo shamar akasu v'schores barecha v'yimei b'churo sechad asher liyavo y'mei ro. You're not going to get those years back. You're not going to have the opportunity. Asher tomar ein li bahem chayfetz v'amro chazal eli yimosa mashiach she'ein bahem lo schus v'lo chova. Once mashiach comes, the game's over. Our choice is beyond and behind us. Now is the time to make the commitment with clarity, with precision, small, figure out as we emerge out of our homes slowly from this pandemic with masks on, protecting us hopefully from Lash and Hara. Everyone has to think about how they're going to be mechazek or mechuzak, to strengthen and be strengthened so that they are preparing and that they are on the right side of the tzidkus and are on the wrong side of the chutzpah yaska. A good